my channel welcome back to a brand new video if it's a little bit echoey in here then i do apologize we are currently in the process of moving house and this room is pretty much empty now it's actually probably one of the last the last video i'll film in this house which is a little bit sad a little bit poignant but i am so excited to share with you our journey with our new renovation our little project it's definitely not little it's a big project for us. If you do want to follow along the journey, then I'll leave my Instagram handle down below, which is Fray Farrington Home for all things homeware. Got myself a coffee from Starbucks. No, this is Muck Cafe from McDonald's this morning. Our local Starbucks has run out of pumpkin spice lattes. Therefore, I got a toffee latte from McDonald's because we don't have a coffee machine here and I need coffee to function in the mornings. I have for you today an everything5pounds.com haul. I've got this big box to share with you guys today with loads of fashion goodies. If you don't know everything5pounds.com, I will leave links to everything that I show in this video down below. Essentially, it is an online retailer which sells everything for five pounds, if not cheaper. I did actually pick up a sale find, which I'm excited to share with you for only two pound 50. I think they've even got shoes on there from just a pound as well. So it's a mega, mega bargain. The way that it works is it is all X kind of high street stock that is no longer wanted. You're saving it from going to landfill by buying it at a bargain price point. Win-win all round if you ask me. So if you want to see what I picked up, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink of choice. Light the candles, get comfy, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. First item that we have is a top. So I've got this top. The brand is Love Look Fashion in the small to medium. This is a little kind of vest style top with the mesh puff sleeve detail. This was a huge trend last year, especially for the party season. So I'm hoping it will continue on because I do really like this style. It's a way to keep warm by having the long sleeves, but the mesh just makes it a little bit dressier. So it's a really nice soft rib knit fabric on the main body part. And I so that was Tom and that was news that we are going to be fully moved out of here and moved into their new house by tomorrow. That is how late in the game we are right now. <sighs> so much stuff going on in my life. Anyway, let's carry on with the haul because this is what we're here for. This top is lovely, perfect for the festive season. I'll obviously do little try clips clips so you can see what it looks like on me. And for reference, if you are new to my channel, I am typically a UK size 10. I'm about five foot five. Another thing you'll get to learn about me if you are new to my channel is that I am very neutral in style. I like my creams, I like my whites, my beiges. Here we have a second item, which is yet again another white top. This is a really nice kind of cropped or semi-cropped, I'm gonna say, it's not too Rocked, but with like these Topshop leather leggings that I've got on, I would just kind of tuck that in slightly. It's just like a plain and simple white sweatshirt style top. It's not really thick as a sweatshirt, um, but it's more like a long sleeve top with kind of like a waffle knit design. So it's quite soft and comfy, relaxed, everyday type piece, this one. Wow. Okay, I size up to UK 16 in this. I would definitely not say that this is a typical UK 16. So... If you want to check this out yourself, size up for reference. Okay, another thing that I like to wear a lot of, especially in autumn or winter, is leather leggings, leather look trousers. So I did pick up a few pairs to try out and show you the difference. This first pair is definitely an out there, whoa, pair, because it is in this kind of vinyl, shiny black material. It's got a little zip closure at the front. I'm not sure if this is as high-waisted as I would like, these to be typically so definitely something that I would wear with a longer line thing like maybe untuck this and have it kind of long and covering my bum another pair that I got are a like kind of straight leg style they're quite a thin fabric these ones which is quite nice because with a faux leather it can get quite hot and sweaty if you know what I mean so I do like the fact that they are thinner so they're not going to be too overwhelmingly hot. I love the drawstring cinched in, drawstring? Drawstring, yeah, cinched in ways. I don't know, I have a bit of a mind blank there. You know how sometimes you have a mind blank and you say a word over and over and then it doesn't even sound like a word anymore. Nice and high waisted these ones, which is definitely to my liking. So maybe with some nice chunky ankle heeled boots, these would look nice with a bodysuit, maybe a Zara one like the one that I'm wearing 
today. The next item that I got is a ribbed knit top, which yet again is a trusty go-to for me in autumn. I also love this beautiful natural kind of shade, natural nude color. It makes it quite high neck. If you were to do it all the way up, I'd probably have it a little bit open. They did also have multiple colors of this. I think they had a black as well, which I was quite tempted for. The next item I actually got in black and beige, and they are very me. They're just some high-waisted knit loungewear wide leg trousers. I love wearing stuff like this around the house. I opted for a medium to large in the beige. Did I go for a small to medium in the black? Yes, I did. I wanted to try the difference between them, but to be completely honest with you, looking at them now, I don't think there's much in it. So if you're in between sizes or you're not sure, whatever size they've got left will probably work, to be completely honest. It might as well be one size. I mean, look at the waist, the same length as well. So I got one of each because you know that typical thing that you do when you find something you like, you buy it in all colors. That is me, that's what I do. Couple of accessories. I did pick up two belts. These went pretty quick, so I actually don't think these are in stock anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So it's two belts. This one is a really wide, square buckle belt which I thought would be really nice to wear kind of over a blazer. I kind of like that look and I didn't have anything this wide so I picked that up and then I also got this thinner one with I want to say like a western style buckle. I'd have to pinch some holes if I were to wear that as a waist belt which is a bit of a shame. Well it's not a shame it's easy enough to do. I need to get one of them belt hole punches. I think they can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap so I might try and see if I can pick one up, because I would definitely wear this as a waist belt. I never really wear anything low on my hips. Moving on, I should have probably shown you these with the other pair alongside them, just so you can compare. But I have the third and final pair of leather look trousers. I love these because they're like a jogger style, so they're a much more relaxed fit, but I feel like a style that you can actually dress up quite nice. You know that kind of jogger style outfit with maybe a little crop top and heels for cocktails, drinks, night out. Nice cinch in waist and high waist as well. I got these in a medium and I feel like they'll be a good fit with the drawstring. I feel like you can size up and get away with it because you can really cinch in that waist. Next up I have my sale find. This was only £2.50. Quite often they run sales which is like the go-to place for me to check out. I always like to have a rummage through the sales in any shop I go to, to be completely honest with you. So I got this in a small and it's like a beigey, kind of almost gold toned top, a really nice loose relaxed fit. And it's got this paneling of white across the front and back. I would wear this with my Topshop leather leggings, kind of like as a replacement to this top, which I've got from Zara. The next item I got is a little bit different for me. It's a really pretty, girly kind of feminine top. Again, that I thought would be nice as a nice, nice top and jeans and heels kind of outfit. In summer, this would be really pretty to wear with denim shorts. It's a really pretty detailed top, kind of peplum style with this little frilly detail at the bottom and loads of lacy crochet detailing around the neckline. I got this in a medium. The next item that I got is this beautiful scarf. I spotted this one, which I've never seen on there before. And it's quite thin and lightweight, so it could be nice just as a like a throw on. I just loved the style of this. It reminded me of something you'd find maybe in All Saints, that kind of beige and white toned, almost tie dye effect, I wanna say. Next up we have something from a brand called Grace. Ooh, it's got the manufacturer's price on it. This retails for $58. I got it for five pounds. Call me the bargain hunter, if you will, because that's what I am. This is like a khaki kind of throw on, open waterfall style cardigan in a ribbed knit. Again, this kind of ribbed knit is just a go-to for me. It's super soft. I don't like when things scratch against my skin. They've got to be nice and soft. I think it was about a size extra large or a 16 maybe. I can't quite remember. I quite often size up in these sort of items anyway to have that more relaxed fit. Excuse me. Hello. I'm just thinking, yeah. um, do you know that washing machine, that dishwasher, whatever, whatever it is, clothes washer in the kitchen? Washing machine? 
Back to it. It is all go, go, go here. And let me tell you, if you've ever moved house, it's a little bit stressful, not gonna lie. Okay, what is this that we've got? Oh, a jumpsuit. I actually saw Gemma Miles. Gemma, if you're watching. Uh, she featured this, and I think, who else did Amy, maybe? Um, so I had to pick it up because I thought it looked great on them. It is a black jumpsuit, kind of relaxed fit relaxed style but it does have the belt around the waist and it's one of those belts that you kind of thread this through and it loosens so I've got a little hack on how to sort that when you thread it through you just got to feed it back through the other side and then it doesn't budge anyway I've got this one in a medium they did have different colors but I just feel like black is a good go-to for an evening style jumpsuit like this the next item that I got are these little jegging style leggings. The reason why I picked up these is because I have been living in leggings, bodysuit or t-shirt and an open cardigan. That is like I've decided that is my moving attire. That is what I like to do when I'm packing up boxes, when I'm going through things, organizing things. You know, it's comfy, it's relaxed, it's put together, it's not pajamas. You know what I mean? So I picked up this natural kind of nude tan color and the khaki. I like both. Now the only thing with these is they're quite uh, hard to get on. They're quite tight fitting. So maybe size up in these. I did go for a medium. The next item that I got, I also got in two colors. This khaki kind of shade and this, I want to say camel tan, but to be completely honest with you, I don't like this shade. So I'm just going to stick with the khaki one and send this one back. But the khaki shade, let me just show it to you. It's essentially a little shacket. I'm all about jackets in autumn and winter, so I love this. Essentially, a shirt style jacket with these kind of pocket details on the front, and it also has a little cinch in waist detail if you did just want to snatch that waist, you know what I mean? And all the hardware, the buttons and everything are in the khaki shade as well, so nice and monotone. I got this one in a medium. Like I was saying, cardigans are fast becoming my new favorite thing to wear on an everyday basis. So I picked up this one. Now this is quite a thick knit, but it's also that kind of eyelash fabric. So it's very soft, but kind of almost furry looking. Do you know what I mean? And I love the length on it at the back. It allows me to wear my typical outfit, my leggings and t-shirt, you know, where my bum's covered then if I'm wearing leggings. So this I did go for in a large, quite weighty. You know those thick knit cardigans that actually feel like you're doing weights? That is this. Yet another rib knit item we have here, perfect for the season. So this rib knit t-shirt is quite a nice alternative. It's a roll neck as well, so it's definitely gonna keep me nice and warm. I might even struggle to get this over my head without ruining all my makeup. Really nice, soft, and quite a thick knit as well. Okay, next up we have a white knit jumper, and I think I saw this one on Amy Walker's channel. I'm pretty sure she showed this, if not something very similar to this, but it's kind of distressed. It's almost like it's got this cutout detail here, which I did try on and not to make it a crop jumper, and I quite like that look, but also even just hanging down. But other than the distressing, it is just a plain and simple white knit jumper. The last clothing item that I have is this grey knit jumper. I'm pretty sure I recognise from the low, yeah. This is from f and from Tesco's and I really rate Tesco's fashion. They have some amazing bits in at the minute. So this is originally from there. It's a really nice thick knit grey jumper. I have quite a lot of grey cardigans, but I don't have that many grey jumpers. And I like how long the sleeves are as well. Like my fingers are only just popping out the other night. You know, there's nothing worse than when a sleeve is like that. I like them long so that I can feel all the more cosy. I did size up in this one though, I will say that. This is a size UK 20. So again on me it's nice and boxy and more of a relaxed fit. When it's a jumper like this or a sweatshirt and you're wanting cozy and comfort, the bigger the better. Size does matter. That's all I'm gonna say. The last item in my everything5pounds.com box is a shoe box and inside here we have a pair of chunky trainers. I do wear chunky trainers a lot at this time of the year and I like the fact that these ones were all cream. Very designer inspired with the fact that they're like a chunky trainer. But I love the fact that they're all one colour. And if you are going to opt for these, they have different colours as well. But if you are going to opt for them, if you're in between sizes, I'm typically a six and a half 
size up because the seven for me is perfect. So that is everything that I picked up on this occasion. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope you got some inspiration, things that you like as well. And if you do want to shop anything, of course, as always, links will be left in the description box below. Thank you once again to everything5pounds.com for kindly working with me on this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up for more of these in the future. Subscribe to keep up to date with all the moving content and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.